In this video, we're going to go over how to install and program a 2 gig Take 345 hardwired takeover module. There will be differences from system to system, but your wired panels control board will look similar to this. In our example, we're using a DSC PC1616. You'll notice from left to right the AC power input, the auxiliary power output, and in our example, near the middle of the board, we have three zones with terminals alternating between the zone inputs and common terminals. For a typical takeover module installation, which reuses the existing control panel, the only wires that you'll need to remove are the zone wires. In our example, the wires in terminals Z1, Z2, Z3, and so on. Before removing wires, be sure to unplug the AC power and the backup battery from the old control panel. Begin removing the wires connected to the zone terminals. Taking a few pieces of wire creates some jumpers to run outside of the box. You'll want to use wire nuts or other crimping materials to connect your jumpers to the zone wires. After you have the zone wires done, cut one last two-wire jumper for power and label both ends so you don't get it mixed up with the zone wires. Connect this wire to your auxiliary positive and negative terminals. On your takeover module, run the leads for the backup battery terminals into the old panel. Find your labeled power wire and connect it to your takeover module observing the polarity with negative to ground and positive to 12 volts. Then one by one connect your zone wires. When you're done connecting your zone wires to the takeover module, you're ready to plug in power. Always connect battery first and then the AC power for the old control panel. When done, you're ready for programming. Access your two gig panels programming menu and select System Configuration. Scroll to the first Unused Sensor Zone and select the appropriate zone type for the wired sensor. For the equipment code, select the 2GIG Takeover Module, and for Zone 1 on the Takeover Module, type in its serial number as it appears on the sticker. The serial number will always end in 1. All Takeover Module zones should be Loop 1, and then continue with programming as normal. For Zone 2, you'll use the same programming, except for the serial number, you'll change the last digit to the digit 2. For Zone 3 on the Takeover module, apply the same serial number, only change the last digit to 3. And so on. When done programming, exit Saving Changes. And now you're ready to test and use all of your hardwired zones. This has been Jason with Surety DIY. Thanks for watching.